Recently, Lenovo CEO Yanqing Yang announced a scholarship in partnership with UNC's School of Medicine for three faculty members to get funding to open up new doorways in innovative healthcare. We're on campus to meet with each of them, find out more about their story, and how the funds from these scholarships are going to be used. My name is Yi Song Wan. So uh, I'm a faculty at the basic research department, microbiology and immunology. And also, I'm affiliated with a comprehensive, uh, Leimberger Comprehensive Cancer Center. My research is a basic research on immunology, in particularly a cell type in the immune system, so called T cells. So T cells is a very important cell type to fight off infection as well as killing tumor cells. So particular disease currently we're looking into, so there are two types. So one is that uh, it's a self-attacking uh, disease. We call it sort of a uh, multiple sclerosis. So this is sort of a, a immune cell going sort of aberrant function, go to the neurons to attack neuron, go to the neural system. So this is sort of self-immunity. So we're studying this. In addition, one big part of our lab, and also we're, because we're associated with the cancer center, so definitely we want to study what's the T cell does to the uh, tumor cells. <clears throat> okay, so in a tumor microenvironment, what T cell change their property? How can we correct that? The Young Family uh, Biomedical Award scholarships really allow us to explore new frontiers, to really go out and explore what might be out there, and then to find something potentially exciting. So therefore, so that's give us this freedom and then give a break you know, in that sense, to really feel free to explore that new frontier and a new direction. So you hope to identify something new that had never been thought of. So I'm Jonathan Berg. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Genetics and Leinberger Cancer Center. I'm actually a physician scientist, so I spend uh, some of my time in the clinic seeing patients with genetic conditions um, and the remainder of my time in, in sort of translational research. Uh, where my interest is in looking at um, how we can use new genomic technologies to enhance the health care of patients. You know, we very often suspect that there may be a genetic condition that explains their symptoms, um, but don't always have the, the right genetic test to, to sort of provide them the answer. Um, and I think many of us in the field see the next generation sequencing technologies, whole exome and whole genome sequencing, as a way to, to increasingly provide a very specific diagnosis for folks. Um, and where I think I would like to go next, and where we, we've got some projects right now involved in um, looking at whether we could actually screen people with genome sequencing to identify a disease before it actually manifests. And, and that's probably the next great frontier of what we want to do, um, because you would much rather identify someone before they develop symptoms of a disease and potentially be able to intervene um, than wait for them to get sick and then tell them why they're sick. Uh, an award like this, um, allows, a, allows a group like mine to sort of take a step in a new direction and it's going to require some trial and error and, and learning as we go. Um, but hopefully at the end of the day will allow us to be, you know, essentially establishing a new field and, and helping to um, move genomic medicine forward. I'm Maureen Su, and I am a pediatric endocrinologist, which means I take care of children who have problems like type 1 diabetes and thyroid disorders, so um, organs that make hormones is, is the um, specialty that I'm in. First of all, autoimmune disease is really, really common. Um, it's about 5 to 10 percent of the population affected in America, and that incidence is rising for reasons that we don't really understand. It's probably partly about the way we live, about the environment we live in. The immune system, right, is designed to fight off infections, right? Its job is to make sure that you don't have bacteria and viruses invading you. Um, so it's kind of like an army, right, that fights off invaders. But a really important part of its job is also to recognize who's a friend, right? Just like an army does, because you don't want friendly fire. You don't want people actually killing themselves, right? So autoimmune disease happens when that army, that immune system, doesn't actually figure out who's a friend and goes and attacks them. So it's sort of um, misinformed about who the enemy is. What we currently do for many autoimmune diseases is just try to suppress that army, try to weaken that army, right, which is not a good idea because then you can't fight off infections very well and it's, it's not a good thing, right? So rather than just weakening the whole army, right, what we're trying to do is to teach the immune system who's their friend, right? Don't kill off that pancreas cell because that's really important for making insulin. 
And surprisingly, you know, it's been a hard thing to do. Um, most of the most of the drugs out there right now are actually just dampening down the whole the whole army. So getting a, a, an award like the Ying Family Biomedical Scholars Award is great for us because it gives us it frees us up to actually do the research that we want to do, and we can do we can do studies that are more high risk. That's something that you know some of the the more conservative funding agencies may not want to fund, but that we think are high reward, meaning that we can actually go after big um, big breakthroughs. And so one of the things that we've been trying to do is to understand how we can cause that autoimmune response, which is a bad thing, right, to become a good thing where we can actually use it to fight off cancers. And I know YY's been really active in the world of cancer um, research and has done a lot to support cancer research. So um, that's something that I think is in line with what YY's thinking about.